Hi, in a previous video we have seen how do we find the value of a function for a given value of x. So if we have a function f of x is equal to 3x plus 2 and we have to find the value of this function at x is equal to 2, we know that we give the input to the function as 2. Then we multiply this 3 by 2 and add 2 to it to get f of x or f of 2 as 8. Okay. Now in a composite function the input to the function is another function rather than a value it is another function. So if we have f of x as 3x plus 2 and g of x as x minus 1. Okay, and we want to find the value of f of g of x at x is equal to 2. So please remember that whenever we have to find the value of such function, we start with the innermost function. So we give x is equal to 2 as input to g of x. So g of x is x minus 1 and we get the output as 1. This output of gx goes as the input to fx. fx is 3x plus 2. When we substitute x as 1 here, we get the output as 5. Okay, so we see that f of g of x is basically the composite function. Okay, f of g of x. So, this is a composite function function of gx instead of function of x we have function of gx okay so if we have let us consider one more example f of x as 4x plus 3 g of x as x minus 1 if we have to find f of g of x then in place of x here we have to substitute a gx okay so f of g of x will basically become 4 times g of x plus 3 when it is f of x we have an x here when we replace x by a function gx then g of x comes here now let us put the value of g of x 4 into x minus 1 plus 3 which gives you 4x minus 4 plus 3, which is 4x minus 1. So f of g of x, which is a composite function, is 4x minus 1. f is a function of gx. Let us see one more example. f of x, let us take it the same function, 4x plus 3. g of x, let it be x minus 1. And let there be a third function, h of x as 2x. And we have to find f of g of h of x. So what is our innermost function? h of x. So first, we know h of x is 2x. First, we will be finding g of hx. Okay. So g of x is x minus 1. So g of hx will be h of x minus 1. We are replacing x by hx. So g of hx is equal to hx is basically 2x so 2x minus 1. Now this entire thing goes as input to this function f. So f of g of hx should be equal to fx is 4x plus 3 so wherever we have x we will replace it by g of hx. Correct? 4 times g of hx plus 3. And what is g of hx which we have figured out? 2x minus 1. So I replace g of hx by its value 2x minus 1 plus 3. And when I simplify it, I get 8x minus 4 plus 3 which give me 8x minus 1. So this is how we find the value of a composite function. Composite function is basically a function of a function. I hope the composite function is clear to everyone. In our next video, we will see how do we find the inverse of a function. 
If you have any doubts regarding this video, you can send me an email at kirti.mathacademy at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.